well so yeah i'm just about to leave the house right now to start <laughs> don't mind me so I'm, I'm just about to leave the house to go to the market i want to go for grocery shopping for happy christmas yeah so i want to take you all along with me i'll be going to the market passing market and then i'm going to the mall close by fcmb is it FC? Do I say? I think it's FCM. Okay, get FCM. No, I call it FCM people. Like it's FCM actually, but then FCMB is the name of a bank in Nigeria. Don't mind me. Yeah, so I'm going to FCM to get some some things that I couldn't get at the market. I've have gone since because time check right now is almost three thirty p.m. So I would have gone since, but it's been raining. It's even raining right now, so I felt like I should just. You know, hold on for a bit. So since the rain is not, it's not that bad like it was before. So I'm just gonna leave now because I want to cook ecosystem soup tomorrow, and some of the ingredients I need, I have to get them to the other market. So I have to go, even though I don't want to due to the rain. But it's a must I go though. So let me just pack my hair so that I could, you know. But then I hope you all are good. I hope you're staying safe. I hope life is, you know, cut. So I hope life is, you know, treating you well and all that good stuff. I hope you're fine. <sighs> Are you okay? Let me know how you're doing in the comment section, please. I'm interested in knowing how you're all doing. So please let me know. I'm still up, you know, tying a scarf here, but you know, because I'm going to be using an antas and the helmet I remove it. But let's try. Let me have to take my power back. I think the rain has stopped. I'm just gonna take this for taking sick. That's my woman. Not believe that i've been talking and talking since but then this video wasn't it wasn't a muscle cut on like i didn't press the red button oh my goodness lord so i was trying to say that i entered the elevator and i made a mistake i went to press the my floor it's told me to press the ground floor right and after standing for like 30 seconds that's when i realized that ah, 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 ah. Ah, I'm still here <laughs> at my floor. So yeah, I'm probably walking to the gate to meet the driver because what I realize is Anka's drivers lately they don't the ones have been booking, they don't actually come to your building, they just wait for you to give them the go ahead to come to your building. You just stop at the gate. Let me contact my driver. Yeah. Okay. I called my driver and he said that it's 15 minutes away. I was like okay that I was going to cancel it because I can't wait. It's even late going to the market by this time. It's almost 4 p.m. And that means it's going to be here by past 4 p.m. So I had to just cancel. I canceled and now I tried booking another one. And that one now is saying that it's 15 minutes to 17 minutes away. You all, I don't know what to do. And I can't even cancel my going to the market today. It's God giving me a sign not to go. Abba, is this a sign I should just stay at home? But I can't really stay at home because I have a lot of things that... I have to get that I need for tomorrow's cooking chicken. But God, please, I beg in your name. Temper message with justice. If you're giving me a sign not to go to the market for a certain reason, please, I beg you for your goodness and your mercy's sake. Don't let whatever bad thing that wants to befall me to happen. But our word for the week says that 
no weapon formed against us shall prosper and every tongue that is not against us shall be cancelled shall be condemned so i'm asking that lord you temper me with justice because really it's raining it's been raining okay and it's so red it's been raining i even slept woke up for like slept for like i think an hour plus and it's still raining driver is shooting 17 minutes away so i see that as signs not to go on a serious note but i still have to go as i'm asking god to just temper me with justice and not let whatever evil thing that is about to befall me to happen in me so yeah let's just wait for the driver i'm just gonna sit and wait for him just cut a grab after standing for like 10 minutes yeah after standing for like 10 minutes i'm grateful to god that i was able to get every single thing that i wanted aside getting his socks yeah but that one i think i just forgot so like I, it wasn't really on my list and it wasn't it's not a priority actually but anyways i'm currently on my way home hopefully there is no there's no traffic yeah hopefully there is no traffic by god's grace so yeah i'm on my way home and um i'm just inside this grab right now when i get home i don't know i'm going to arrange the things i bought and i'm also going to i want to make burger and fries actually that i feel like i'm really craving for that so bad if i eventually do i will just put a picture of it right here for you all to see but i really want to make burger with fries yeah yeah and some customers are actually asking for food so by god's grace if i have enough strength then i'm going to um attend to their order like maybe later after making the burger and the fries and then um yeah basically that's it if there's any other thing i'll pick up my camera to show you all oh my god you all look at this tomato and it's 20 pesos per kilo wow i just saw one very good it feels like this other part that is kind of like outside the market there's a market outside the market so i think there are things there are more are more affordable because i just saw a very very good tomato and the tomato is for 20 pesos and i also saw red bell pepper 
the that one switch meters per kilo i also saw right there pepe and that one is 140 per kilo and the shop i bought the one i bought from the real like is 250 per kilo anyways i'm really so grateful that every day i get to learn i get to know and i don't want to be hard on myself that oh girl see how much you bought this thing no is learning now that i know that there are places that could sell their paper for like 140 i won't be going back to that my other customer i'll try to i'll try to check other places because i don't know if it's just me but i'm like this kind of customer that see eh, if i go to a place to buy something and i love your services and i'm comfortable with you i promise i will not leave you until god knows when like that's how i buy things for example i want to go and buy i want to buy tomato and pepper and then i go to this shop they have tomato and pepper and for me it's kind of like affordable you get and it's affordable they have the tomato and pepper i like tomato and pepper it looks fresh and good i'm, I'm not leaving you no matter even if there are like ten thousand people say tomato and pepper before i get to your shop I would that's how loyal i can be when it comes to you know getting things from anywhere even going to lowest of getting like what's it called um face masks getting um just anything even if it's egg or more so far as i like your shop i'm comfortable with you i'll keep buying from you until i leave that city <laughs> really and I, I think I like I like it but then it has its own good and bad side. Bad side in the sense that what the person is saying at a higher price, like you don't get to take risks of trying other people that may be much more affordable than the person you're buying from. But then it's also one thing, it's also very good to be loyal actually. Yeah. So I think I've spoken so much. Let me end this let me finally end this vlog here. You all have a wonderful day and God bless you. Love you.